are back. I am Chris Garlock with the AGA E-Journal, joined once again by Michael Redman, Nine Don Professional. Michael, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. All right. So uh, I don't know if you're excited, but I am. This is our very first AlphaGo Zero video. The first of, uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know that we're ready to commit to 80, but uh, some some number of videos, right? Uh, before we jump into this uh, this first video, I do want to bid a big thank you to all of our uh, American Go Association members. Uh, a lot of folks have been asking how they can support these videos, uh, and it's really the uh, the AGA uh, which has been producing these, and we really appreciate uh, that support. Uh, so if you want to be part of that, just uh, just join the AGA, and you can do that on our website at usgo.org. All right. Uh, end of commercial. Uh, Michael, what are we talking about today? Okay, so um, I want to start um, with the zero series, you might say, uh, by looking at the master versus zero games. So there's okay. 20 games in this set. And um, it turns out that um, there's just about two openings. Like there's the opening when zero has black and there's the opening when master has black. And I guess it's um, sort of computer-like of them to be repeating it every time. So let, um, let me let me just jump in there for a sec. So when you say two openings, I mean you really mean because we've seen some similar things in mm -hmm. some of the other master games, but there's been variations. So when you say two openings, what do you mean? Um, I mean that they're playing the same moves every time for the first something like less than twenty moves, but something more than fifteen moves. And wow. it's okay for zero because um, it's a very good strategy for zero, obviously, because it has a high winning percentage. Um, but uh, like in the master series where it plays 60 games against top pros, it was um, varying more. It was allowed uh, the freedom to um, have some randomness. And so like it would have a favorite move in certain positions and then it would sometimes play other moves, which probably had very similar winning percentages in the value network. Um, but uh, in this in in the this series of games, it's it doesn't seem to have the same freedom to play randomly. So it's just keeping to the one variation, and and it's not such a um, so prominent in this game where master has white. I'm going to start with a opening with master is white. Okay, um, and then and then we'll take a look at uh, right. the opening where it's where zero switches mm -hmm. to uh, to uh, black, right? Right. And so I'm going to be in this video about the openings. I'm going to be talking about the characteristics of zero. Um, it's different from the previous version, so um, that's going to be interesting. I'm also going to be um, talking about how master is different from, for instance, the Kutze version, um, which mm -hmm. is also master, but it's a more advanced version, I would say. So just to jump into it, um, sure. it's interesting. Um, so this is zero is black. Uh, zero is really very strongly biased to the star points, so it likes it plays star points all the time. Um, in the training run in which it was playing against itself, it did play the three four point a few times, um, mm -hmm. but it still seems to um, strongly prefer the star point. And so um, I've marked up the board a little bit here. Um, Master is actually has um, a, a very fixed uh, strategy for white. And so this is exactly the same as what it was playing in what we call the master series, the 60 games against human players, because mm -hmm. um, it didn't vary very much when it was having, it varied more when it had the black stones actually. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly the same. Um, the B and C and D are moves that um, I was seeing the Kurtze version playing. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right now. I'm. I'm I have trouble pronouncing that name. Um, <laughs> you must love master and zero, right? Yeah, a I lot mean, easier, yeah. <laughs> very straightforward. <laughs> the Kurtze version actually has more variation in its first moves, and so it can play A, B, C, or D. Um, so that's the marks on the board here. And so uh, zero, again, plays the two, uh, the Ninense, plays two star points every time in this series. And most, I think most of the time in a self-play um, training run also. So it really likes star points. Um, and again, uh, Master plays the star point every time. Um, but the, the Kurtze version could play C or B, um, B or mm -hmm. C, that is. Um, so the Kurtze version had three ways to play. The Master version, even when it was playing humans, would play at A every time in this position. So there's no difference here. Um, so I'm sort of checking out 
um, comparing with the master version that I saw before and finding that in this opening where um, master has white, there's no difference to the moves it's choosing. Hmm. Okay. And so um, actually um, zero is really oriented to taking territory. So um, this Karkari at A is sort of the exception to the rule because otherwise it's just going to dive into this 3-3 point. <laughs> so this is an unusual case in which it, in this opening, it will just play one Kakari first, and then when white answers, now it's going to dive into the 3-3 point. So this is the standard uh, strategy for zero. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because this happens in the training run also, when zero is playing against itself. And I'm talking mm -hmm. about the zero 40 blocks, um, which is supposedly the stronger version of zeros. The, the, mm -hmm. um, I don't really understand the technical details, but... Um, when it plays against itself, obviously white is zero also. And the interesting thing is that, that when zero is white, it doesn't play this move. Huh. Like any other version of uh, AlphaGo, even uh, the Kote version, will play this move. This is, uh, seem, and, a, and a human player would usually play here too. Like okay. it's the most, the most common move for humans too. But um, when zero is playing itself, zero is white will be diving into the corner at A or the diving in at B. It's one of those two. So like it's first, uh, the, whoever gets to the 3-3 three, three point first is going to be happy, it seems. And I think there's a question too, and I think we've we've uh, we've, we've sent a note to Fan Hui to ask this about, I mean, obviously, I think it was something like millions of games were played, right? I mean, this, this yeah. is obviously a very carefully curated uh, selection of the games because the uh, the zero you know was as we know was not uh, trained on any games it was simply given the rules and then ran all of these uh, training games um, in fact I, I don't know if we're ever gonna you know look at these but you, you know some of those uh, early games are, are pretty much a mess right yes well I'm, I don't really feel confident in explaining how it happened I think that the training runs are actually sort of um, uh, showing how the how the um, AI progressed to its certain and and they do talk about how um, how often they were having the games played and what kind of games there um, mm. and it was something like a forty day training run and That's right. it's it started out as a beginner um, or actually worse than most human beginners um, because it obviously it wasn't really seeming to learn anything as the game progressed whereas beginners human players would be learning as the game progressed. Sure. Um, so, the, like with the forty block, which is um, has only one bad one game that is really um, uh, that bad, and then it gradually gets better. So after a few games, it starts to play like a very good player. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see the progress being made, and and apparently that is that is how they brought it to the professional level. Um, so people who are more technically minded or more interested in that part, I'm, I. I um, to be honest, I sort of lost interest because it was <laughs> a, a lot of that paper was very technical. Um, it was very and I'm more technical. interested in the go itself anyway. Yeah. Let's get back to the go. So, uh, so this is a move that a human would um, feel comfortable playing, and all of the versions of um, AlphaGo that derive from human uh, data to start with would mm. play here. Mm. But, um, but it's a position where zero um, was playing in the three three points is white. And we can guess what um, black does too. Black jumps into three. three. So this is zero, and right. it's really interesting how zero um, plays the star points every time. Uh, it did play when it was playing in the training run. Some games it did play three four points, but it in it, these games against master it's playing the star points all the time, and yet it loves to jump into the three three point. Hmm. Um, so I guess it's saying it's okay for both sides. Um, but uh, it's really interesting to see this kind of um, almost a contradiction here. And this is an in interesting part of the game because if we look at just the left side of the board, um, this is something that happens in the Kurtze self-played series. And it, I've been um, talking about this particular p uh, position in some of the videos. And so I can say with um, some expectation that I'm right, that um, the Kurtze person would uh, cover on this side, whereas mm -hmm. uh, Master covered on this side. This is the uh, the intuitively correct move that a human player would usually play with the left side looking like a white moyo. Most mm -hmm. players would want to uh, cover on this side. 
but um, the curbside person was uh, covering on this side. Um, and uh, people who have been following with the self-play games and watching the videos uh, will probably remember that uh, things like this have been happening. And so there's this variation, this joseki, um, which people have been calling an AlphaGo joseki because um, this particular variation didn't really exist until AlphaGo started playing it. So this is the Kurtzay version of AlphaGo. Um, when it has that position in the upper left corner, it's it's going to play this way with white. So this mm. um, sequence act. Usually, there's more 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 stones on the right side of the board um, in the self-played series. So, um, but this position on the left side is exactly the same as some of the self-played games. So wow. this is how the Kurtzay version would play. Um, obviously, Master doesn't have that experience of being invaded in the corner as much as that Kurtze version does, because Kurtze version, like when it plays against itself, it likes to jump into 3-3 three, three point also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so this is maybe a new development that the Kurtze version had that Master doesn't have, because, uh, doesn't have, because Master is just playing um, this human Joseki. And um, just like the Kurtze version, it's exactly the same, the way it curls here. Um, wow. It's the same Joseki that is invented. Um, and so it's really, um, I'm coming to the end of this little opening here uh, in which zero has black. Um, this move again, it sort of reminds me, this black move here on the upper side, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. reminds me of the, uh, the previous versions of AlphaGo, although they're not related really because this zero is not using human data, as they say. Um, right. But it, the, the fact that it doesn't like to play the slide at A and the fact that it will play a Kakari at B and just leave it. That's why you have these two marks on the board. It plays the Kakari at B, and then it plays a move um, similar to this move that Black has played in the upper right. It plays a kind of a corner enclosure in the upper right um, instead of protecting the, the stone at B directly. And this is something that the other versions like to do also. So I want to ask, and I, I don't, I, I want to not ask an AI question. I want to ask it as, in, a, in a go way. So let me try and get the phrasing right. but. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna I think switch to the to the other opening. Uh, but before we do that, um, you just reminded me. I mean, you know, uh, Zero arrived at this without in a completely different way than any of the other versions. All the other versions, all I think three other versions, right? Tr trained on game, trained on human games, then trained on the self played games, and and Zero just played. A ton of games, but arrived. And so, so what do you think as as a as a you know a master as a top go player? Wh what are your thoughts about that? Well, I was really surprised because yeah. you might remember the people at DeepMind were talking of the possibility of starting with no human data uh, yeah. way back. Like they were talking yeah, they about were. it when they had the Lisa at all version beating Lisa at all. Um, That's right. And they were talking of the possibility, and they weren't sure what was going to happen with that. Um, <laughs> and I was thinking about that. I was very intrigued, of course. And mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe it wouldn't even be playing in the corners. Like maybe um, if an AI started with zero human data, maybe it would find some completely alien um, opening theory uh, that would be perhaps more effective than what we have. Because right. um, I don't really have um, very much confidence with um, our knowledge of the opening because um, I, I think of what we do is we have lots of rules of some. But um, like we, we don't really know what the best move is in an opening. We have moves that we like to play, um, but we don't know 100% whether this move is going to be leading to a win or not. So um, there's a lot of guesswork that even professional players have in the opening. Like we don't completely know what the best move is. And so I was gonna I was interested to see how um, uh, an AI like Zero with human um, no human input. Would, right, um, find right. completely different things to do, and here it is. It's playing star points, and <laughs> in the twenty in the twenty block version, it's playing three four points and three three points also, and doing stuff that is looking just like human players. So, um, although it like for instance with the three three invasions, it's quite different from humans. It's still playing Joseki that we recognize, and it's still playing um, opening moves that look very natural. And so that I was surprised by the similarity to human players. That was that was a big surprise for me. So, do you want to go out on a limb here and say maybe we do more know more than we thought we did? I mean, if if this 
you know, now strongest Go playing AI in the world came up with the same stuff that, not we, because, you know, <laughs> but, you know, that the, the last couple thousand years of Go players did, maybe we, maybe we weren't so far off. Well, um, I'm being a little bit, well, I never felt comfortable with playing away from a corner for the first move. Um, so I guess I, I sort of want to believe that um, it's a good idea to play in the corner. And <laughs> yes, it's it's sort of surprising, um, not knowing anything about AIs at all and how they actually, not completely understanding how they developed it. I sort of want to um, sort of doubt it, doubt it maybe somehow this um, zero is being contaminated with human data at some point. <laughs> Because it's so similar. So you, what you, what you want to see is you want to see Zero coming up with completely other opening moves that well, work. Be, that would, would be that so would like make your day, exciting, wouldn't yeah. it? And it would, yeah, it would make my day. Yeah, yeah <laughs> All right. that would make me happy. Very, very happy. I'll, uh, I'll let, I'll let Mr. Hasabas know about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we, are we finished with this version? Do you want to, you want to switch over to opening number two where they switch colors? I think I want to uh, switch now to the opening where Master has black. Yes. All right. Okay, so this is the opening where Master has black. Um, hmm. And in the Master um, game, the game with where Master has black, actually there's more variation in the Master series. So hmm. um, this is where I'm going to see some differences between the, the Master that is playing against Zero and the Master that was playing against humans in the 60 games. For instance, this first move um, at A is uh, Master's favorite move, but in the series against humans, it was also playing at B. So like uh, three-fourths of the time about, it was playing at A, and then uh, once in four times it could play at B. And so it was allowed to vary. And so there was this randomness that was allowed. But in this series, it's playing just at A in all 10 games that it has black. Um, so it's sort of a disappointment to me uh, because I would rather see variation and see, see um, AlphaGo uh, as zero having to face um, different moves just to see how it would respond to them. And so it's a bit um, disappointing to see only the one variation of the first moves of the opening. Yeah, and again, I don't, I mean, I, I, I keep asking questions that wind up sounding like AI questions, and I, I know uh, you're neither interested or, or feel yourself qualified to it, so I'm, I'm actually, but it, it is really a go question. This is reminding me of, of uh, Mirago or Monego, right, which has been tried from time to time by humans, you know, just sort of short circuit this where you, you know, just copy your opponent's moves, right? So I'm just, do you see any parallels there? And I mean, you know, could we be looking at a situation, you know, where you find this perfect Go game where it's, you know, it's, you know like tic-tac-toe is sort of solved? Well, so I, I don't think even Zero has um, really solved the game. Uh, uh -huh. But since Zero is a new, is new to me, um, I don't really have so much problem with Zero playing the same moves every time. But uh, when Master um, has already demonstrated that it can play various moves, and I would assume that um, I would assume that uh, the winning percentage attached to these moves are, is pretty similar. Like um, again, with this move in the lower right corner that I'm showing, um, Master usually plays at A in the in the Master series of 60 games, but it could also play at B. And again, that's it plays at B at about one in four games. Mm -hmm. um, and so. Um, it's really, since I know Master, since I we have this data set of 60 games for Master, it's really strange that it's not showing the same very variations that it is in that 60 game um, series. And it's also very disappointing um, because it re uh, reduces the variation in this set of games, in which, which is it's sort of a test of zero and um, a way of showing how strong zero is. For instance, when zero had black, um, I think zero won um, eight out of ten games, and when mm -hmm. zero had white, it won nine out of ten games. So on the whole, wow. it's, uh, winning 80, 85 percent of the time um, in this twenty-game ma uh, match against. So um, in a way, it's a test of zero's ability and a demonstration of how uh, how much better zero is. And I think it would be better demonstrated if uh, Master was sort of throwing everything it had at zero instead of playing the same opening every time. Good so that's point. something that. Um, I don't really understand why why it happened or whether it was intentional or just some um, some random settings of the program that happened to be different. 
Um, right. But it, is, it was a disappointment to me. So again, we're seeing zero playing star points, and it plays mm -hmm. star points every time with white too. So um, to sort of pick up on your previous question, I, I have the feeling that zero might think that um, star points is just the best um, strategy because it plays star points with black and white. Okay. Uh, although I do find that interesting when it just loves to jump into the three three point. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm having trouble because you know, I looked at not as many games as you did, but I looked at a, a bunch of the games and, and Zero clearly loves the cash, loves the yeah, cash. It really so, takes territory. And so why it's playing star points is sort of odd, but I'm, I'm sure all will be revealed as we go along. I have confidence in you're, you're going to figure this out. Well, all of the versions of uh, AlphaGo actually like to play star points with white. And this sort of agrees with things that some human players are talking about also, because with white, uh, white does have the Komi, and in an early battle, black will have an advantage with the extra stone. Um, so the initiative, um, it, playing the star points is a good way to um, try to balance the game and, and keep keep the game relatively peaceful, um, less complicated mm. the early parts of the game. So some people will say that um, playing the star points is a good strategy for white. So that's something, an idea that some human, not everyone, but human players have had this idea before. And so it sort of agrees with AlphaGo. Um, okay. And, and again, I'm, I'm going to talk about how Master is not playing the same variety as it did before. Um, it can play other moves. Like A, again, was its favorite move, but it was also playing B, C, and D. And actually, uh, same thing can be said of um, the uh, more advanced version, the Kete, Kete version, um, because it was playing um, it was playing other moves too. Like it was playing um, more often at B, actually. The Kote version was. Mm. Um, but uh, Master was playing a very a variety of moves. It was playing B, C, and D instead of A sometimes. Um, mm -hmm, like, I mm -hmm. think it was playing A about half of the time, and um, and then the rest of the other half of the games, it was varying between B, C, and D. So mm -hmm. A is definitely its favorite move, but it's not the only move that it thinks is good. And right. so, um, again, it's a point that I want to make that it's it's not playing the same variety of game, of moves that it was in the <laughs> Master Series. It really I, bothers I just, me. No, I know, and I know, and I, I just sort of hear you say, uh, Michael is very disappointed, very yeah. disappointed here. <laughs> well, you know, it, it was it, um, it's an opportunity for us to see uh, what Zero can do. Yeah. And I'm not doubting that Zero is a very strong program. Right. It would be more interesting to, um, to see how it played against Master. Mm. And also, um, just to push the point once more, um, like where is the Kote version? Um, I would have been happier yes. to see games of that. Ver that version is much stronger than Master. And just looking at these opening moves, I can see that this black player is not the Kote version. It's, it's the Master. Well, um, in this game, sometimes the Kote version played this opening too, but it was playing different moves. It was playing the moves in a different order. And I can see that this is this is definitely Master, and it is not. Or, or at least it's very close to master, but it's not the same as the Kote version. Right. I've um, actually so asked that question because uh, you, you would ask me that question about the Kote version. I've asked the team that question. I'm trying to get us an answer on that. Well, um, someone from DeepMind did tell me that um, I was told that I could consider um, the Kote version as master. So I, I think basically right. as far as a, a computer engineer is concerned, they're the same. And my inter interpretation of that is just looking at the game, mass, uh, the Kote version is so much more advanced in, in its skill at the game. Right. Uh, I'm just assuming that it's just a far, and because it came after, it's a it's a more advanced version of the same program. So it's, it's been through a number of reincarnations. I can tell you that when I emailed David Silver about this, he actually said he was going to pass it along to Fan Hui because it, it's. I think it is really more. It may be more actually of a Go question than even of an AI question. So it's. It's you're raising. I think a really interesting point. Um, so well, it would have been more exciting to see that version play against Zero. Um, right. I, I was. I was sort of uh, actually very surprised to see that they didn't publish those games. Um, why wouldn't they uh, have games of, of Kote version against Zero? <laughs> it was it was a big well. Just I, I'm 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 gonna keep my complaining just to this opening video because <laughs> uh, um, and in the middle of the game there's a lot more variety and it's gonna get a lot more interesting too. Um, but here we see actually this is an interesting point in the game where Master plays this move for the first time. 
Um, and that's just basically because we haven't seen um, the human players didn't invade the three three point like the that AlphaGo likes to. And mm -hmm. so Master wasn't faced with this position. So this is an example showing that actually Master can choose the same variation of the Joseki that the, the later versions are, are choosing, like both the Kote version and, and the Zero version uh, seem to like to play this knight's move. And so this is a, um, for the first time we're seeing Master play this move too. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a, um, it shows that Master um, is similar to the later versions in this way. And the reason that playing this move instead of the human move is, like humans would usually play a Joseki that ends in Gote there, and white would be able to play on the side. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the value of playing this very version is this variation allows black to play away at this point and take the big side point. So um, I sort of like this, this way for black to play. And white plays here. Um, now this knight's move again uh, is very similar to human play. Like if we um, took away that invasion of B um, and just um, took those uh, why don't I just go back to that point, like um, at this point of the game. Um, playing here for white would be a very natural move. Sure. In fact, th this is a move that um, human players would play and have played. I, I, I could probably find the game in the Master Series in which the human player played here. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that, um, it's, it's a pretty recent development, like usually people would be playing on the right side or even if someone played on the lower side, most players would want to play further to the right, uh, but in recent in recent years, people have just grabbed the um, territory in the lower left corner, and uh, White's plan is to jump into the Moyo very deeply later in the game. Right. And so this is the the most modern way that humans like to play. And so when I uh, look at this position, let's just take it back to the game position. This position, um, this again is. Uh, very like the move that a human would choose in this position. It's probably mm -hmm. the same move. And so again, I'm very surprised at the similarity between AlphaGo Zero and human players, because if it started with zero human input and it came to this, it, it's an example of um, how it's coming to the same answer as human players do. Um, it's, so it's very it's, interesting. It's, it's, I'll go beyond interesting. I mean, to me, it just is mind boggling in so many ways. Uh, yeah. that, that it arrives at the same place. I mean, it's just fascinating. I, I think it's got all kinds of implications uh, in all sorts of ways. But anyway, I want to continue with the mm -hmm. go. It's very cool. Yeah. And so Master plays the shoulder hit. And this is um, um, this is one of the reasons that I, I wanted to do this uh, set of games because mm -hmm. uh, it sort of reminds me of the Master, the master series, which was yes. such a, yep. a um, big amp impact on us and so exciting to see it beat so many top pros. Like um, having AlphaGo beat Lee Sedol or Kate, uh, it's just the one one guy getting beaten up, right? So it's it's not so personal for us. <laughs> tell, tell them uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you see uh, 60 games with all yeah. sorts of different top pros um, just doing everything they can to beat AlphaGo. So, no so exciting. Mm. That's so much more exciting. And, and it, uh, it led to more variety in the way mm -hmm. the games were played. And so it, it still um, is a very um, strong memory in me. And so seeing Master play this move, which is very much like um, what I would expect Master to be like, um, yeah. it brings back those memories, very fun memories. Of sort Master of a great, a greatest hits, a Master's yeah. greatest hits. Yeah. And so I'm pretty sure that Master would play here every time. Um, actually, uh, the, the Kurtze version with a different order of moves, the Kurtzay version has actually uh, gotten to this position in, mm -hmm. I think it was three games, and it played this shoulder hit once, but in the other two games it invaded at B. So that's why I have a marker on that corner. I see, okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's an example of how the Kurtzay version likes to jump into the three, three points also. And I think actually that's one of the videos that we've already published. So one of the mm -hmm. early games, uh, where I was talking about how when white invades at A and creates this Joseki in, in the upper right corner, then um, I uh, I voiced the hypothesis that um, AlphaGo feels that um, it has simplified the game to a point where B is more valuable. And so mm -hmm. it sort of um, induces black to dive into the 3-3 point also. So there's this kind of chain reaction 
in which if one side jumped in through three points, then the other side seems to be even more eager to, to return the, the favor, you might say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this, um, when uh, AlphaGo plays this, uh, master version plays this shoulder hit, uh, the human player would usually be playing something like this, or maybe right. um, some players might play play the push, I guess. Um, usually you would see white playing something directly against it. But zero just uh, dives on, into the right. It's in really uh, funny to see this move. It's a strange looking move. Uh, but what white is doing here is white is white has ideas for the lower right corner. So white has a plan to invade the lower right corner using this move as a kind of a base. And I'm going to get into detail um, in the game um, commentaries, I think. I, I'm going to save that for the game commentaries. But White has okay. a plan for the lower right corner. And it's sort of making me eye of that and, and the lower side. playing a, playing. So like if Black is going to play something like this, then White's probably going to play something like this now. Mm. Um, just for instance, I, what, uh, Zero might have a better move in mind. But um, Just a question on, on uh, White's, um, yeah, the unusual move there. Uh, remind me, did Master ever play anything like that? Is this this is new. Um, not really. Like this is a um, already a, um, it's a, already a different a position that master has not come to before. Okay. Um, it, like the the shoulder hit here, it reminds me of a lot of moves that master played, but we don't really have the exact same position where white has invaded the upper right corner. Mm -hmm. Um, and this this is um, so we're gonna have this opening every time, uh, every time that master has black. Um, at this point, uh, actually, master is allowed to vary a little bit, so it can play at A, B, or C on the left side. So we'll have um, sort of three variations there, and after that, the games will um, be uh, unique. All of the games will wow. be unique. Guys. Well, that'll save us time in the openings, right? We can just we can just start right here in all of those. Yeah, I, that's sort of my plan. <laughs> I, I will be talking about these last uh, last couple of moves a little bit more in the in the first videos, I think. Um, but yeah. Um, basically, I've been complaining a lot <laughs> about how Master is a bit different and how I wish the Kache version. So I, I'm, I, I sort of wanted to get that out of my system. Um, and I'm not going to I'm not be talking about that later. Okay. Yeah. So before we uh, we wrap this up, um, sort of last thoughts, you know, as we are, we're sort of, we're launching a sort of a new... Uh, phase with these uh, zero games, and of course, we'll be picking up uh, some of the uh, um, the master self-played games as as we go along as well. So we'll sort of have these two trains running. Um, do you have any sort of initial thoughts just from the games you've looked at so far um, before we wrap up? Yes. Well, um, obviously, zero is a very territory-oriented mm. uh, has a has a bias, you might say, um, that is much stronger towards territory than most human players and much stronger than the previous versions of AlphaGo. Um, and so it, it leads to a game, and Master likes to make Moyo. It likes to play on the outside, at least. Um, and it, so it likes to play these shoulder hits and, and the big Shimaris. And so it leads to a game where Master usually has a Moyo, and Zero is gonna is really good at diving in. It's also really good at, um, when it doesn't dive in, then sometimes it just chisels away from the outside. It's really um, showing very uh, good expertise in dealing with its opponent's moyo. So it, it's not only just uh, mindlessly taking territory, it also is very good at handling the rest of the game. And so that's something that I'm, I'm probably going to be learning from. Um, also, it reminds me of Chochkun or people like that, um, Ishida Yoshio Chochkun. People who really love territory tend to be, when they're successful, they tend to be very good at reducing the moyo after that. So it reminds me of those players. And also, yeah. I will be doing the Kache version self-play games because um, the actually the opening is pretty similar to Zero in many ways, uh -huh. although there are some differences. Um, but also, the middle games um, are extremely strong and very exciting in the self-play uh, uh, set of games. So I, I'm, I, when I have time, I want to be going back to, to do some more of those videos too. Right. Well, th just from the the games that I've looked at, uh, the, the zero games I've looked at, I can't wait to get your analysis because just looking at them, I, I mean, I thought that, that the previous series we're working on that was, was mind bending, but these ones, uh, the one thing I'll just say, and again, just from a totally, you know, amateur perspective, but they really seem subtle. 
to me. Just just trying to under even you know having gone through all of these with you, I sort of had a feeling of it. These seem to be much more subtle, and I'm, I'm sure that I'm You're missing. You're talking about the zero games, right? I am. I am. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a well, like we were we were seeing a lot of action playing out on the board in right. the Kotze self-play uh, series, and there's a lot more hidden complications. It's, okay. It's, there's a lot less that's actually coming out on the board. Which, so which it makes the game look, the games look, um, superficially, the games look simpler. Yeah, but I, I think, yeah, my, my sense was that it was superficial, so I can't wait to right. see what uh, what's really going on. Well, uh, as always, Michael, thank you. Um, you know, I think, I think we've got the next 20 years of our life planned out at this point with all of these, uh, this big gift from DeepMind. Big, big credit to them, by the way. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I'm with you. I read the article several times. I, I think I, I understood less each time, but it is clearly yeah. a, a big uh, advance by them and, and, a, and a big gift to the government world. So we appreciate that. Um, also, a big thanks to all of our AGA members out there. Uh, none of uh, what Michael's doing here would be possible uh, to, to get out there without uh, the AGA support and the member support. So uh, join the AGA. And uh, thank you, Michael. And we will see you all next time.